everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Punched Out Thursday to Die For and I'm using those two dies you just saw. One is a mason jar and the other is a unicorn head. And I'm using my scraps from my How to Kill a Kit, which are from my Hip Kit Club kits from previous months. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stamp for my unicorn head and I'm going to stamp it down on some white cardstock with my archival ink my black archival ink and I end up using two of them and I did have the coordinating die with this so uh, what I did is I die cut it out with my die cutting machine off camera and I'm also going to die cut some flowers that you see there that is by Sizzix and then I colored in my unicorn heads with my nouveau markers and that's how they turned out isn't it super pretty and then there are all of my flowers and leaves that I die cut as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my page because I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media here. And I wanted to gesso it with some clear gesso first. So I prep it so that um, any watercolors or anything that I put on it, it's kind of like a coating and it protects the paper from um, tearing and ripping or getting too wet. So now I'm going to go in with some Philosophy ink by um, Prima. This one is Honey. And I'm going to put that down on my paper. And I'm just doing the packaging technique. Super easy. And then I'm going to dab it up with my paper towel so it makes it a little bit lighter. Because these colors are very, very vibrant. And I just kind of use my paintbrush on the edges to kind of soften them. So they don't look like crisp. <laughs> on the edges and now I'm going to go in with the blush this is also philosophy ink by Prima as well and I'm just going to use my paintbrush again to swish it around a little bit I do add a little bit of water to these um, to lighten them up a little bit make them a little more watery a little bit does go a long way with these um, these were from color kits that I got with my hip kit club and if you don't know what Hip Kit Club is, I will have their link down below as well so you could check them out. It's just a kit subscription every month that I get. And you could get um, the main kit, you can get, um, which comes with all the pattern papers and embellishments. And then you can also get the color kit that comes with this stuff. And um, sometimes you get stamps, sometimes you get stamp pads, inks, um, and you just saw the inks that I got. Now this one was a stamp pad that we got, and this one is also, I believe, by Prima, the stamps, and it's apricot, and it's an orangey color, and it's very light, so I had to kind of rub it on my paper, because it wasn't really working me rubbing it on my packaging, so I just kind of went in the best I could with it. And then I went in, of course, and I did some splatters in each one of the sections with the same colors, just a little bit darker. And now I'm gonna come in with the blue. Now this is a um, different kind of ink. It's a watercolor, but it's a spray, and it's also by Prima. These are Bloom sprays. And this one is Fairy Pond. And I did the same thing, packaging technique. And then I just went in with my paintbrush and just signed, softened it up, and then dabbed up whatever I wanted with my um, paper towels. And I also did some splatters in that one as well. So I kind of got four corners going on there of each color, okay? Now most of this is going to get covered up. I know it looks like a hot mess, but it is going to get covered up. So now I have these two um, strips of paper um, left in my pattern paper. And I end up using the colored one on the bottom, but not that other one in the middle. And those are my mason jars that I also used, the die cut that you saw in the beginning. Um, they're little mason jars and they came out so, so cute. And that's how I'm going to do them. A little cluster like that of mason jars. And I'm going to stick my little um, unicorn heads on top of the white one there. First, I'm going to glue down this strip. And now I'm going to back my photo with all these different pattern paper scraps that I have left over. So that's what this is all about using up my scraps that's what my how to kill a kit comes in handy because what we do is we use up all we get a kit together in the beginning of the month and then by the end of the month we show you how much of the kit we used and how much we got rid of and what's left and how many layouts we made with it so that's what i'm also um including this week with my 
punched out Thursdays. And it's been coming out handy because I've been doing like every Thursday. So it kind of helps me do extra. And now I'm just distressing the edges as well of my pattern papers. I just like to give them a little more interest, a little more pop. And now I'm going to use this striped piece for my last one. And that one's gonna go all the way around my picture. And I also distressed the edges of that as well. And then I'm gonna bring it back and pop it up with some craft foam on my background paper. So while I'm doing that, I just want to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies um, who are also doing Punched Out Thursday to Die For. I will have their links down below. And now what I'm doing is I'm just gluing down my little unicorn head. Now, the reason I did these unicorn heads is because um, the picture that I'm documenting today is a picture of my daughter. It was her birthday and she had a unicorn party and she was wearing a unicorn headband and we had unicorn cupcakes. So I decided to kind of incorporate a um, birthday picture doing it this way, a little bit different. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting on the unicorn's little <laughs> eyelashes, which are so cute. Look how cute this came out. I absolutely love this little die. And this was my first time using it and I love it. I'm gonna do it again. So now there's my photo and I popped it up like I said on some craft foam. And my little mason jars are ready to be put together. And I'm just going to tape them kind of like in a cluster all together. And then I'm gonna put that white one with the unicorn on top. And I'm gonna pop that up on some craft foam as well. And then you'll see me um, come in with some other die cuts and things that I picked out that were in my stash um, as well. And I just kind of picked out things that went with this. Um, some cupcakes, it's just sweet stuff. Cupcakes, um, cherries, a um, whole bunch of cool little um, embellishments. But first, I came in with those leaves and my pretty flowers that I die cut too with that little Sizzix die cut I showed you. And I did those off camera. And first I'm just gonna pop up my mason jars, but this is how it's going to go. I'm gonna have a bunch of flowers coming out of my mason jars. Um, super pretty, cool idea. I really loved, um, these turned out so, so cute. And um, I'm just gonna take my flowers now and I did have to glue them down each individually and I did pop them up with a little piece of craft foam my little square pieces of craft foam and I did glue them down with scotch glue because there's a lot of mixed media on the back of this so just using your tape gun will not make them stick and I want to make sure everything stays in place so I just went in and I did those and then I'm going to come in and you'll see me start putting in my little leaves see how they were still popping up with the glue it took a while for it to dry and I'm just sticking in my little leaves and a few spots. And I love the way this came out. Um, I know it looks like a lot of mixed media, but most of this gets covered up and it looks super, super cool in the end. Um, I like, I really love the way the colors are so vibrant and so bright and it just reminds me of summer and, um, it just turned out super pretty and the mason jars like just came out so cute I'm definitely gonna do other things with these mason jars I have so many ideas um, I know some people do hearts coming out of them and um, bugs and just all kinds of things right and you can even stick candy in them and um, sweet treats all kinds of things and now I'm just doing the other side with the flowers. Now these flowers did take me a little bit to glue down and the leaves, but um, the end result is way worth it because it turned out super pretty. And I just kind of used all my scraps and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use up all my scraps with my How to Kill a Kit and my Hip Kit Club Kit. And um, I just kind of coordinated the colors together that I wanted um, to go with my photo and it turned out great. So now I'm gonna use this hay sugar. This is a um, acetate piece and those little cookies. And I'm gonna use this Good Vibes 
and I'm going to use these cupcakes and that little cherry. I'm going to end up using that too. These will get moved around. I didn't end up using the bum gum machine. I just felt like it just didn't have a place. <laughs> it just didn't have a place on this layout. Hopefully next time because I think it's so cute. I love the gumball machine. I used to have one as a kid, so I used to love having my gumballs. And I'm going to use those um, little berries as well. This is a strawberry. The other one I think is a raspberry. And I'm going to kind of like put a little cluster over here under these mason jars, and then I'm going to do another cluster under the other mason jars. And this um, chipboard that I'm using is a Maggie Holmes chipboard that came in one of our hip kit clubs as well and I'm using a few pieces from there now this good vibes actually came from July's kit and it just happened to be um, in my kit as well so I decided to use it because it had all the colors and I stuck that down and popped it up as well with some craft foam and now I'm just gonna do my little berries on each side and I'm gonna pop up the one one was a chipboard the other one is just a die cut so I just kind of popped up that one and then on the other side I'm gonna do my cupcakes now that little sweet you see on the bottom I don't end up using that that comes out because I come up with another idea now this one of my kits one of the kits came with Maggie Holmes as well um, this little sticker sheets and these ones are like some clear stickers and she had these black uh, stickers in there that said sweet and then I ended up using another word because um, she had some letters in there as well and I spelled out life so um, I kind of have a subtitle so it's hey sugar sweet life <laughs> so that is my title and that I stuck on the bottom there and I thought it looked really good against the um, watercolors on the bottom. So I thought this looks really nice. Um, if you could ever use those clear stickers on something that's colorful, it looks really good. And then there's my cupcakes and these little raspberries. And then I'm going to stick that little clear um, acetate piece of uh, cherries on the bottom there by Sweet Life. And I just used my clear... Um, glue to stick these down the two acetate pieces that hay sugar and the cherries and then I'm going to pop up those little cookies on some craft foam as well next to my title up top and then I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to finish it off with some enamel dots so these were from all the different collections and I have a bunch of them as you can see and I just kind of put color tone on tone so I did the yellow on the yellow, pink on the pink, blue on the blue, and then that apricot color. And I just stuck them in the three different spots. And that is my layout. So I hope you guys like it. I think it's turned out super cute. I love the little mason jars. I'm not gonna stop saying that. I think they came out, came out so cute. And I love the little unicorn ones on top. Super cute layout, I love it. It's a cute little birthday layout. I hope you guys like it too. Like I said, here are your close-ups. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you just hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check out the other ladies as well. I will have all their links down below. There's my unicorns. Super cute. And that's it, guys. I hope to see you again soon. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.